students let's discuss about chemical bond today we will study about chemical bond and before i explain about chemical bond first of all we will discuss bond what is bond here you can see two hands and these two hands are tightly joined with each other so it means that they must have a relationship or link with each other when one thing has link with other thing so it means they are joined with each other and they are bonded with each other so how can we define bond linkage or join or to be joined securely to something else so we can define bond that join or to be joined securely to something else these two hands can be the example of any two friends any two siblings or any two persons you know generally when we talk about relationships about our family members or about our friends we say that this person has a very strong relationship with his mother with his friend or whoever we talk about now let's see another example mother's bond with child you know every person has a very strong linkage with his or her mother so this diagram shows the example of the bond between two persons now let's see how can we define chemical bond here you can see the example of two faces or two you can see that two cartoons and if you talk about chemically you can assume that the, these two faces are these two atoms and they are joined with the one stick which you can assume that is bond and if these two things or these two atoms are chemically bonded with each other so we will say that there is a chemical bond between these two atoms let's see how can we define <coughs> the electrostatic force the electrostatic force which holds atom together in a molecule or a crystal is called a chemical bond the electrostatic force which holds atom together you know how these two atoms are attracted to each other just due to electrostatic force the force which cause these two atoms hold together is known as electrostatic force and together in a molecule or a crystal form when two or more than two atoms are bonded with each other they form a molecule or a crystal and when these atoms are chemically bonded due to electrostatic force this bond is known as chemical bond when there is a electrostatic force between two or more than two atoms due to this force they form a bond and this is the bond okay and this bond is chemical bond because they are chemically bonded with each other so we can define chemical bond like this the electrostatic force which holds two atoms together in a molecule or a crystal is called a chemical bond now this thing can be a this substance or this chemical can be molecule or a crystals example of molecules or crystals are hydrogen oxygen nitrogen these are the examples of molecules and these are the examples of crystals sodium chloride and potassium fluoride other examples are chlorine fluorine bromine all these gases exist in a molecular form examples of crystals are potassium chloride magnesium chloride and sodium iodide all these crystals lie in solid form remember one thing that crystals are always lie in solid form and gases are always uh, sorry molecules just like chlorine fluorine bromine they are always lie in gaseous form and they will be always in a molecular form like h2 cl2 f2 okay thank you for watching this video